The Malawi University of Science and Technology was established by an Act of Parliament of 2012, actually Act number 31. But we opened our doors to the first group of students in 2014. Uh, then we started humbly because we only had three undergraduate programs and two postgraduate programs. As we are speaking now, we have grown our undergraduate a program portfolio to 21 while maintaining the number of postgraduate programs. But starting next year, our Senate has already approved a number of postgraduate programs and undergraduate programs. So we should be hitting over 30 as we will be starting the next academic year. Uh, currently, the university is operating under four schools. We have what we call the Malawi Institute of Technology then the Ndata School of Climate and Earth Science, a Bingo School of uh, Arch and Heritage, and the Academy of Medical Sciences. So in terms of uh, the Malawi Institute of Technology, they are currently offering seven undergraduate programs, five in engineering, and two in uh, IT-related programs. Ndata School of Climate and Earth Sciences, as the name suggests, is focusing on uh, Earth Sciences, disaster risk management, GIS, energy, uh, water resources, such kind of programs. While the Bingo School of Culture and Heritage currently is offering three uh, programs. These are African Musicology, Indigenous Knowledge Systems and Practice, and Language Communication and Culture. The fourth school, the Academy of Medical Sciences, is focusing on the medical sciences program. So currently they are also offering four programs. They have uh, sports science, they have uh, medical microbiology, immunology, and medical imaging. I talked about the two postgraduate programs. These were at master's degree level and uh, we had, uh, or still have, Masters, uh, Master of Science in Innovation and another one, Master of Science in Entrepreneurship. So those are the programs that uh, we are currently offering. You might also wish to know that uh, the graduation that we are having today is the second one. The first one was in 2019. This one was supposed to be last year, 2020, but due to the COVID pandemic, it was kind of delayed, that's why we are having it today. Uh, in total, we'll be graduating over 350 students, uh, both undergraduate and postgraduate. Uh, the investor is trying to be unique in that he is mostly emphasizing on issues of uh, science, technology, innovation, and entrepreneurship. We want to be a university that is in the forefront doing research that uh, helps in solving some of the country's uh, socioeconomic problems. We also want to create an industry where we'll be value adding to some of the products that are locally available. So for example, in this area, there is a lot of dairy farming that takes place. We want to come in and uh, add value to that so that whatever we are doing there is value addition so there is that creation of an industrial park which we have started construction and we are also encouraging our students to focus on innovation they should come up with ideas uh, uh, things that will help the country develop we are also encouraging them to be entrepreneurial because we know out there there are few jobs, so we don't want our students to go out there and join the queue for those that are hunting for jobs. We want them to create employment by establishing their own businesses where they will be able to employ themselves and also employ others that are looking for employment. That's what we are doing. So no student from must will graduate without 
take training in innovation and entrepreneurship. But again, we also ask our students to go for internship. That too is a must and is assessed. So they go out there for what we call work integrated learning. They are attached to industries where they get the uh, experience that they need to complement their theoretical knowledge and skills. See you